Once again, sexual harassment is a behavior. It is not a gender-specific type of behavior. It can be perpetrated by a man or a woman against another man or a woman. Let's not try to focus on the gender component because it doesn't matter. All that matters is the behavior. The behavior is where the improperness, inappropriateness, and the unlawful aspect is. So, what do you do if you experience sexual harassment? What do you recognize? A, make a complaint of it. Make sure you complain to your human resource department. Complain to the police if there's any assault involved. Make sure that you focus on documenting every instance of the inappropriate things that are happening. Text messages, emails, correspondence, anything. Recording. If you record something, New York is a one-party state, which means that if you are a party to a conversation, you can record that conversation if you're a part of it. Remember, you have to be a part of that conversation. If you're not, then it's eavesdropping and that's against the law. So make sure that you know that, okay? So make sure you report things that are happening, document, preserve your evidence, and make sure that you reach out to an attorney to make sure that they help you in the process which is the most difficult process in pursuing your legal claims for sexual harassment or any form of discrimination that you face.